We are on lesson eight, area of irregular shapes. So, steps to finding the area of a an irregular shape. You're going to need to write these down, so go ahead and pause the video if you need to. One, break the shape into two rectangles. Two, solve to find any missing lengths. Three, shade one of the rectangles to find the area of that shape. And four, find the area of the unshaded shape. And finally, add the two areas together. So if you needed to pause to do that, please copy down those notes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step was to break the shape. All right, so I'm going to break the shape here. All right, so now I'm working with two rectangles. That's a little bit easier. My next step was to find any missing lengths. All right, so I have a missing length here, and I have a missing length down here. Now, if you remember from the earlier lessons, lessons one and lesson two, I told you that the lengths and the widths will add up to be the same on an irregular shape. So that means that this left side over here is going to be the same as the right side. So my total is 10, the big long side, is equal to five plus, this is my missing shape, so five plus something. Well, 10 is equal to five plus something. 10 is equal to five plus five. So the missing shape here is equal to five. The missing width is five. All right, now let's look here. I have eight is my big long side, so that's the total length, is equal to three plus this missing part right here. So three plus something. Well, I know that eight is equal to three plus five. So this missing part is five as well. The next step was to shade one of the sides. So I am going to shade this top space right here, this top rectangle. All right, now I need to think about the length and width of this rectangle. Well, the length of this rectangle, how long this rectangle is, is eight. And the width is five, because this rectangle is like this, right? And this is five, so eight times five is equal to 40. And then I need to find the length and the width of the unshaded part. Well, the length here is five, all right, and I'm gonna draw a box around it. So my width is five. So five times five is equal to 25. The last step was to put them together. So if you put 40 plus 25 together, 40 and 25 is equal to 65, and we're doing area, so it's square units. Let's try another one. So, the first step is to break the shape. So I'm going to break it right here, so I have two rectangles. The next step was to find any missing sides. I have a missing side down here, and a missing side down here. Now remember, your lengths and your widths are going to add up to be the same value. So let's start with the width. I have my big long side given to me and that is equal to 12. I have another long side on the opposite end, and that's equal to six plus my missing side, so plus something. So my two, six plus something. So my two short sides together will be the same length as the long side. So 12 is equal to six plus six, so this missing side is equal to six. Now let's do the lengths. So I have the big long side given to me. Remember the big long side will be equal to the two short sides together. So here's a short side, five, and I have a missing short side. So that's equal to something. Twelve is equal to five plus seven, 
So this missing side down here has to be equal to 7. The next step is to shade in one of the sides. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to shade this top one. That way it will be easy for me to distinguish between my two rectangles. So if you want to grab a colored pencil or a highlighter to do that in your notebook, you are more than welcome to. So here, let's find the area of this rectangle. Well, the length of this rectangle, if I looked at the whole rectangle, the total length is equal to 12, right? Because all the way across this rectangle is equal to 12. The width of this rectangle is equal to 6 times 6 to get the area. So 12 times 6 is equal to 72. Now we need to look at this second shape. So across, all the way across this shape, it's not all the way across, so it can't be 12. It's just part of the way across, so it's equal to 7. Now it's not all the way up, so it can't be 12. It has to be 6. 7 times 6 is 42. The last step is to add them together. So if you had 42 plus 72, add those together. 2 and 2 is 4. 7 and 4 is 11. That would be 114 square units. All right. Let's do one more together, then it's your turn. So remember the first step is to break the shape, make it look like two rectangles. Find any missing sides. I have a missing side here and a missing side here. Let's do the widths first. Remember your width is going to be equal to the big long piece plus the smaller pieces. So six is equal to big long piece, the two short pieces. So I have a question mark, I don't know it, plus four. Six is equal to two plus four. So this missing side is equal to two. Remember the big long side is equal to your two shorter sides. So 12 is equal to five plus my missing side. So that's a question mark. 12 is equal to five plus seven. So my missing side is seven. All right? Now, the next thing that you do is you shade in one of the shapes. I'm going to shade the bottom one this time. So again, if you have a colored pencil or something like that, or a highlighter, you can shade it in lightly. So you can easily distinguish the shape. Or you can just use your pencil, whatever you want to do. Just make sure it's just light. Now let's look at this shape. Let's look at the length and the width. Well, the length here is definitely bigger than five because five is only here only to here right you need the whole length so the entire length is equal to 12 right and then the width is equal to 4 so 12 times 4 is equal to 48 let's look at this one so the length it's not all the way across it's shorter right it's only from here to here so it has to be seven and it's not all the way down it's just from here to here, right? So it has to be two. Seven times two is equal to 14. 48 plus 14, if you add those together, eight and four is 12, four and one, and one is equal to six, so you have 62 square units because you're finding area. All right, the next three are yours. So this is your first problem. Make sure you follow the steps. Your second problem is here, and this is your third problem. You are to find the area of the white square. The white square is 20 square centimeters, or sorry, it's 20 square meters, not centimeters. All right, you need to find the area of the shaded region, all right? So what is the area of this region right here? All right, and um, after you've done all of those, go ahead and revisit your learning goal. And once you revisit your learning goal, I would like you to give yourself a triangle, a 
circle your um, learning goal from the beginning and triangle it from the end. So I'll show it to you really quickly if you need to see it. There it is. There's your learning goal. So go ahead and triangle yourself at the end of the lesson what your learning goal is. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.